And here, let's do a little update video. I haven't released released anything. I have a uh, recorded stuff, but then I was like, oh wow, that a uh, video only got two views, so I shouldn't do any more. That makes sense. So here, let's do an update video. I was gonna do a bunch of guides after this because I figured out the end game. I figured out what to do. I figured out what's important. You just uh, ignore all the other stuff. Combat is the only thing that matters, right? That's why we uh, rush to get the two heroes in the APC right away. I think I did that in the video. Maybe we did. Now we have uh, two heroes in the APC. It's just insane. It has a ridiculous power. And then here, yesterday, I was just out uh, researching. Well, before I researched these, I was like, uh, well, two heroes isn't uh, too important. It does take long. I was working on it, uh, as well as uh, basic combat. We got the, all the promotions up really quick. And then we got the recycled resources. We got those right away. So we got 40% more resources from the zombies. And then we leveled these up so that we could fight the zombies easier. But then their APC was getting so ridiculous, and then we uh, leveled these up. These take uh, five hours to upgrade, even with the Institute research stuff. So yeah, they took uh, 15 hours to research all of these. That was a lot of research, so I just researched one each day, I think. And then we promoted all of our units almost, and then we got the hero training, so we get more experience. And then the zombie might, and then the zombie resistance against level 6 to 10 zombies, so... Uh, we could take on level uh, 7 zombies, but level 8 zombies are just ridiculous. Level 9 zombies, I don't even know. They'd probably destroy my whole team. So we were, we're researching this, but then we go, well, we have enough uh, We have enough hero training, enough uh, zombie mites. So let's go back to the APC research. And then we just uh, continued researching these, because first we researched uh, this up to level 5, and then we took a break and did the other stuff. But then we came back and uh, finished researching this today, or yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we researched all these to level 5. Then we got a uh, NOS last night, and then, like, holy geez, it's really, really late. Uh, we don't have enough to research this. So we went to bed, and then we uh, researched uh, this stuff. We're like, wow, it's uh, getting really late. Uh, we should research uh, fighter recruitment. They took uh, 33 minutes to research each of these, and then we researched uh, conscription while we went to bed because it took four hours. So now we could build an extra bunk, so now we could uh, train all of our units faster. And then here we got the NOS, and then uh, just when we woke up, we're like, uh, let's uh, research hero co cooperation, it's going to take uh, 12 hours, so it's going to be all day, so we're just going to have to wait until tonight, and then we're going to be able to put two heroes in the other APC, and then what are we going to do? I don't even know. Got the basic military for the conscription, I don't even think we need any more here, you don't really need a training speed, that's not important, right? The research APC too, this stuff, the takes a really long time to research i don't even know if i'm gonna deal with this stuff it just takes so long compared to the other ones because the other ones like uh, takes an hour to upgrade and then here it's like it takes uh, three and a half hours to upgrade so geez that's a quite a difference holy geez i don't have any sound geez we gotta put sound in the video why is there no sound i don't know i'll have to put it in i guess okay uh, and then we just uh left these like they were i think uh yeah, we didn't level these up. We researched these before we came to the server, so maybe we could get a fighter enhancement. It uh, takes one day to research. We need to store four, uh, like five million, <clears throat> five million iron, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. <clears throat> maybe base like 15 or 16 or something. So then, uh, here we go. So now that's pretty much it. Yeah, if you're looking for tips, uh, pretty much the only thing that matters is getting your uh, heroes in your APC and upgrading your APC and then here pretty soon we're gonna start uh, working on getting uh, three heroes in here want to get uh, three heroes in the class APC as soon as possible and then what about our class we've uh, did a different uh, method too we were like uh, the trader maybe it's not so good maybe we could go with the farmer because everyone says the farmer is actually good well everyone picks a uh, trader because everyone picks trader and trader is supposed to be the best but trader is not actually the best so I've just been out here gathering, so literally I could send my guys out uh, gathering the zombie battle reports. We're going to kill zombies for experience and uh, iron. You always kill the zombies for the iron and the lumber, right? So we killed you, got a whole bunch of experience. Uh, that was our weaker APC. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, so we got like 11,000 experience and 40,000 lumber, and we didn't lose that many troops that we were working on it, but we got a... Jeez, that's not even that much experience, is it? Wow. We really need to kill a lot of zombies and we need to kill higher level zombies and then the gathering reports we've just been gathering all day every day so we're getting a whole bunch of food and fuel and lumber and food and fuel and lumber and everything we're just uh, gathering all that so as a farmer you can gather a uh, 1 million food per day for each of these apcs so that's really good so i can get like a 1 million food 1 million fuel and then like 700 700 000 lumber whatever it is and then uh 
just kill the zombies for the hour and because that's all you do you just kill zombies for hour so we have uh, gotten into our stores a little bit we're running low on food so that's why we're definitely it's definitely good gathering we're running really low on fuel or geez we had so much before we're running low on lumber and the iron we still have lots of iron so there we go that's what our progress is we're all out of money we ran out of money just ran out of everything and then we're like wow we need to we need to do this deal this deal's coming on we're all out of money it's only a dollar 39 and we get 650k so don't tell anybody we spent another dollar 39 don't tell anybody and then here we so we're just uh, gathering all day We'll go look at them, I guess. They were gathered. Oh, we have to train the troops. <clears throat> the troops are done training. We always want to train the troops because they always fit in the APC. Here, we'll go do another another tips, right? We'll look at the APC. What do you upgrade in your base? What are the important buildings? The officer dispatch center is probably the number one building. The resource production buildings, those are really, really good because Resource production was like uh, 30,000 yesterday, and then we just upgraded our farms, and now it's up to 45,000, and upgrading everything, and so we're upgrading our bank, because our money income was only 20,000, so now it's going to be like 40,000, so we were doing that, upgrading the resource things, we didn't really do anything with the other buildings, they're not really too important, uh, we just got the embassy to level 10 for the help timers, pretty much, there we go, yeah. And then the dispatch centers, those are the number one things. Because if you look at your army here, look at the uh, <clears throat> APCs here, we can see we don't have too many units in the base. Because actually, before, we could uh, fill up our APCs completely. So we had a, every single girl in here. And our APC was ridiculous. It was like 133,000 power. It was crazy. And then, so we just need to keep upgrading these. And then the upgrade our heroes. Our heroes are just insane. I don't even know how our heroes are so strong i think i took a picture of uh, what we did um oh we could record the screen okay go into that blue stack let's uh let's pause it then so in here i actually uh, linked it into the chat last night so i remembered it because i was like here alliance you need to get a uh, ap something like or battle girls level 23 and level 20 maybe she leveled up or we got the 10 marching capacity, we got the 5 open fire, the 5 resistance, the 5 might, the 10 marching capacity for the purple hero, and then just level 1 for here. We got a whole bunch of units, we got a 25,000 fighter units, and we got a 18,000 shooter units, and then just 5,500 in the back, so it looks really good. They got a 133,000 power, so that's really good for a day 2, day 2 APC. We really want to upgrade this level 13 just want to put even more girls in there. I think, uh, yeah, the marching capacity is reached. The only thing we got to do is uh, keep upgrading the officer dispatch center so that our combat's ridiculously good. So if anyone comes here to destroy the server and destroy us already this time, we're not doing anything resource production. We're just spending all the wisdom medals on the heroes. We're going to heroes. We're going uh, light of renaissance. You could uh, use your farming abilities to help us gather, but no, we're going to say, no, you don't use our wisdom medals on you you're not taking our wisdom medals mascot we're not going to use them to get a little bit of resource production it's not really worth it it's a combat game we're going to use all of our wisdom medals just to do combat because it's a pvp game if you don't have combat then you're just going to get destroyed so we're definitely prepared this time we learned so much playing on the state 23 and state 30 and then state 31 and state 33 and now state 34 so now we know everything about the game, hopefully. So we'll see how this goes. I think we're the most powerful. If people have been uh, focusing on other stuff. Uh, so, uh, the other person that got to base 14, that's all right. Because uh, base 13, uh, you don't really get anything until base 16 anyways. And then we're pretty much got all of our troops here. We're getting ready to get all tier 5 troops pretty soon. So, we, have a, we just need to go keep gathering. So we promote. And we just keep uh, promoting all of our units. And then we'll have tier 5 units. Uh, Jeep Samurai. So the samurai were uh, get, doing that in like an hour and a half here. Wow, we're sweet. This is ready level 13, 13, and then uh, this is level 10. So we got to level that up here. And then we have everything. Jeez, so ridiculous. Ah, the guides are coming later. I'm just playing this game. Once I'm done playing here, then we'll uh, do some other stuff. Figure out what to do. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We've just been working on storage, I think. Here we go. Cool. So now we're all ready to go. We defeated Wendell yesterday. He's so ridiculously strong, but we got uh, two places here now. There's everybody here. Sweet. So there's the end of the video. So now, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll just look at the rankings. So I'll uh, never take the number one spot. It's just ridiculous. But here, now we're the 
most powerful on the server anyways. And then the commander base ranking, she's level 14. That doesn't matter. And here, Alliance uh, power rankings, uh, number one, we'll never be number one. It's always we're number two or number three, but at least we're not number eight. 